stock out of the crate 250 cc engine 30 millimeter nibby carburetor disc brakes front and rear five speed manual transmission the things that i've done to it i added pro taper grips i added hand guards uh, added this headlight this rome cell phone mount which is awesome i love this thing i rode this thing all day and this never came off of here it didn't move this headlight switch because i really didn't like going through here to turn my headlight on and off the stock 30 millimeter carburetor was kind of messed up it's dirty right now this one is uh this is one that i switched to it uh this is also a nibby but it's the performance edition i guess i added a battery tender on here this is wired straight up into the battery put this wig racing tire on the rear for the money you can't beat these bikes these things are awesome anyway we're back out here we've got the egl a16 and i finally got her all situated and uh I'm, as you can tell, I'm really excited about this one because this is the first time I've been able to actually take it out and it worked. We took it to Cape Fear a couple weeks ago and uh, that electrical whooped me. I didn't actually get to ride this thing probably about 30 minutes and uh, it went, it took a poopy on me. Quick little rundown. 2020 EGL at the time of this video would run you about $2,900 delivery. And I could be wrong on that number. I'll have a screenshot of the actual MSRP. Uh, but I'm just going to guess around three grand. People think this is a clone of a CRF 250, which MSRP is for about $5,000. But I've been told that it's actually a clone of a KTM 250, which has an MSRP after delivery of almost $10,000. Whoo, that's expensive. I mean, it, you know, if you can afford a brand new Honda, then go for it. Ain't nobody going to knock it. Spend your money, do what you want to do. I don't make it for you. I'm not going to say you have to spend it. It does exactly what I want it to do. I pull the throttle and it goes. And it does it quickly too, man. This thing is fast. I was not expecting the way this bike acts. This thing is a boss. And we're going to see that here shortly. We're going to uh, just kind of put around a little bit, let everybody get good and warmed up. And then I think I'm going to take this bad boy to the drag strip and I'm might even hit the MX track, so uh, let's stick around for that one. I took my time on the trails getting to know this bike, learning how it would handle, uh, how it responds to throttle, stuff like that. The throttle response was amazing. The traction was great. It handled everything like it was supposed to. The brakes worked. Uh, there was no lag in anything. All in all, it was just a good, solid ride for this bike, and I had no complaints. pulled up to the drag strip and I was hoping to find a Honda CRF 230 to compare it to. Hey man! And I got lucky. The guy on the left is on a 450 so he doesn't count. Fifties on the other side though. I was like, "Damn!" Ah. All right, so here we go. I was going to do a running commentary while riding the bike on the track, but I figured out pretty quickly that I can't do that. I'm not familiar with the bike, and I'm not really familiar with this track. So, the bike itself handled all these jumps and turns and everything flawlessly the suspension's a little bit on the soft side like i've said but i haven't done any adjustment to it at all but out of the box for what it is i i couldn't complain about it at all it handled everything i threw at it it went through these jumps perfectly the acceleration was great it gripped as soon as i hit the ground that being said fresh out of the crate you're going to have to make adjustments to this bike to fit your particular riding style but stock settings she did good bottom 
missing out on that. As you can see, we're back over here parked, and I've just been walking around the bike. No leaks, no noise, nothing. Um, I had to cut that little mud flap off right there, but I mean, other than that, this bike performed beautifully. And crazy enough, it stayed clean. I, on the other hand, did not. This bike did great. I mean, I mean, it's exactly what it is. It's a 250 dirt bike. This is a great starter bike for anybody who doesn't want to drop six grand on a new Honda or Suzuki or Kawasaki or whatever. I cannot argue with this bike at all. Um, they do really well. It handled everything I threw at it today with no problems. Uh, this rear suspension is a little on the soft side, so if you're going to be, you know, taking it over any really hard terrain or jumping or anything, you need to keep that in mind. But also, I haven't adjusted anything back here yet. This is all stock settings straight out of the box. So I'll tune it a little bit, try and tune the suspension a little better and see if that helps. But I mean, other than that, I got no complaints about this thing. This thing did great. Kept up with everybody else we had. So I can't argue with it too much. But if you haven't already, you can like and subscribe. Make sure you check out minibikeapparel.com for a sweet t-shirt, hat, or hoodie, much like this one. This is a new design that Josh sent me. So far, this is my favorite t-shirt. Plus, I got our friends James and Joshua out terrorizing twins. Uh, these kids have no fear. Like, it's ridiculous. I wish I was that cool. If you haven't already, you can like and subscribe. Make sure you check out minibikeapparel.com. Pick up your own t-shirt, hat, or hoodie, much like this one here. You can also check out Full Send Motorsport these guys youtube channel they're starting their own cart series good stuff so until next time y'all get up get out there and get after it